you're looking at adjuvant radiotherapy in prostate cancer, uh, a specific subset of patients with prostate cancer. Tell me what it is you are trying to, to elucidate here with this study. So there is uh, a, an unsettled issue in prostate cancer where after surgery in patients were found to be pathologic T3 or margin positive, we don't know what is the best course. To do radiation immediately or should we wash them and then do radiation afterwards as a salvage therapy if they recur, otherwise the, they don't. The proven benefits of radiation have been what? So the, ba the, the basic, uh, there have been three trials that have looked at this all have shown that biochemical survival is much better. Biochemical free survival, so bio recur biochemical recurrence free survival, that means the return of PSA is not, you know, is much, much better in patients who had adjuvant radiation. Uh, but that has not shown any overall survival benefit. So arguments that hence that should we wait or should we do again? Okay, so watchful waiting with these groups has been an option, but this need to, needed to be quantified. You need to put the data on that. Yeah. What did you do in this meta-analysis? So in the meta-analysis, we looked at, uh, in particular, what is called metastasis free survival, uh, where, they, where the disease spreads and shows up in the bones and the lymph nodes. And one study, the SWAC study, has shown there is metastasis free survival, but the other two studies, it did not show that benefit but it's because it was not powered enough, mostly because you know, the, the confidence was large. So we pooled the data to see if pooling all these three studies still held that benefit. And at 10 years, the metastasis survival was statistically significantly higher in patients who had adjuvant radiation. Metastasis free survival basically means that you avoid chemotherapy, you avoid hormone therapy, which are horrendous you know, treatments because the quality of life is really terrible. Right, so you, you can now make a definitive statement, can you, about whether or not to use adjuvant radiotherapy? Uh, we can't still make a definitive, but it's just more evidence towards uh, for doing radi uh, radiation sooner rather than later. Uh, because there's still you know, some patients who do not get radiation who never recur, and if they didn't get radiation, they avoid the side effects of radiation, which also we looked at and found that with radiation, the side effects are doubled compared to just surgery. So it still is a little bit of a balance, but it pushes us to do uh, adjuvant radiation as, you know, it, pushes us towards that rather than watchful waiting. So where do we stand at the moment then in terms of the clinical recommendations? Do you so think? The basically it's going to be a patient's decision. You present them the data. These are the potential side effects that you're going to have a little bit about 6% higher chance of side effects. The potential benefit is that you have a higher chance of avoiding this chem chemotherapy and um, uh, radiation therapy and hormone therapy in the future. So they have to make the decision if this little bit higher chance of side effects is worthwhile, a higher chance of not having a metastasis, a metastatic disease and, and then uh, getting into uh, hormone therapy and chemotherapy which has and which is going to be a, a, a continuous thing until they die. And then that's, uh, you know, that really, really affects the quality of life. So the brief take home for doctors is what? So the, is basically uh, tell the patients these, the data and let them make the decision. Now certain patients, if they tend to have, if they have more, like they have both pathologic uh, T3 and margin positive, and the PSA is, you know, you know, a, a little bit higher. It's, it's still detectable. You probably want to, you know, push them more towards adjuvant radiation. Uh, if they are, that's not the case, patient PSA is undetectable, margin is positive, or, or the pathologic T3 disease. If they want to wait, it's it's a reasonable option. They can, you know, but if they want to do the radiation, 
they could. So basically, the data basically shows that the chance of metastasis is lower, hence the, the, chance of the, uh, the, the chance of having a better quality of life is higher, and it's something that you have to tell them and then, uh, and then let them make the decision. Uh, personally, from this data, what, if it was me, I would probably go for the adjuvant radiation, except that extra 6% chance of side effects, but that's a personal decision. And, and I think patients have to make that decision. Our job is to just tell them and educate them what their options are and what are the, what are the risks of doing, you know, for each treatment.